Hi, my name is David Atherton and I won the Great British Bake Off. Today, we're going to be making a delicious recipe from my new book called My First Cookbook. This has been beautifully illustrated by one of my best friends, Rachel Stubbs. I still remember my first cookbook. I used to take it in turns to choose a recipe with my twin brother and still today, I get excited about doing new food. My book is full of loads of great food that you can do together. It's split into four sections and it covers breakfast, lunches, dinners, and loads of tasty treats and snacks. I hope this book inspires you to tie on your apron, dance around the kitchen a bit, and make some amazing food. Today, we're gonna to be making two-tone lollies. It's very simple, it just uses lots of fruit. And it's from the delicious treats section of my book. It's a hot day today, so I'm looking forward to trying these. So let's get started. For this recipe, it's very simple. You're gonna need two bananas, eight grapes, and 10 strawberries. You're also gonna need a lolly mold. Um, I've done this before, I should have just cut some sticks, but it's useful if you've got one of these. And a hand blender. Okay, so we're gonna take one banana first. I'm gonna put it into this beaker. And then we're just gonna whiz that up. Okay. okay. That's nice and smooth now. So now I'm just gonna put this into the lolly molds. This is gonna be the first layer. This is gonna have one layer of the banana with some grapes in, and then another layer of the strawberry and banana with some grapes in. Now banana's quite sticky. And so it goes more like an ice cream, I think. It does take time for these to freeze. Sometimes it's best to make this the day before and then enjoy them the next day. Also, you can try all different kinds of fruits. It's really nice with mango and papaya. You can put different kinds of fruits and seeds in as well, like pomegranates. I love pomegranates. Okay, some people have really big molds, some people have small molds. There's not really a set size, so you might need to add slightly more or less of the ingredients. I'm now going to take some grapes, cut them in half, and put these in as well. So the grapes give a different texture. These kind of go more like a sorbet when they freeze. These are going to go into the freezer for one hour. Okay, let's get the first ones out of the freezer. Okay. So the next stage is to do the strawberry banana layer. So we're going to get the blender again. I love using blenders. And we put the second banana in. So easy. All the strawberries. And let's whiz. Strawberries are very soft, so they whiz quite quickly. You don't want to pour it right up to the top because you're going to be pushing the grapes in. You can see the two colours, can't you? Blueberries would work really well with this because it would go really purple and blue. Put the grapes in. That's okay. And that's basically it. Now it will depend, like I said before, on how big your lolly moulds are. Here, you've got some extra smoothie to drink. Mine fit in like this and have a little lid. I'm just gonna put those on. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the freezer now for at least three hours. Actually, I often make them the day before and then can have them the next day. So let's go freeze. This is what I've been looking forward to. So these are nicely frozen now. We just put them in a bit of warm water. Come on, nicely. Woo! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna have all four of these because it's been a very hot day and this is delicious. I hope you've enjoyed making these two-tone lollies with me today. Uh, for more great recipes, then please buy my new book.